All right, so I wanted to walk through some of the various methods you can use to begin enumerating Active Directory. Active Directory is a technology and system that is loved and hated by penetration testers and security folk alike. Um, there's a, a whole suite of abuse mechanisms that have been published throughout the years targeting it, and it continues to just be a really great area of research um, and a really high value target for both adversaries and operators like myself. So there's a couple of different methods and a, a really wide breadth of tool sets that target it. Um, we're gonna go through three, um, two of them being somewhat smaller and then one being the gargantuan beast that is Bloodhound, um, which we will get into. So let's start with the first one, which in this case is a tool called LDAP Domain Dump. This was written by Durkion and it actually is included within NTLM Relay. So if you ever have run NTLM Relay and targeted an LDAP service, this is actually the tool that runs under the hood whenever you authenticate. And it's super cool. It is installed by default on Kali, so you can access it just by running LDAP Domain Dump and then TAC H will give you some of the output. I will go ahead and run it with the following arguments in my lab environment. So I'll give it dash U with my test user, the test user's password, the authentication type, a name server, and then the uh, fully qualified domain name of the debate controller in my, in my lab environment. So let's go ahead and run that. And you can see that there is some limited output. And if we check our directory, there is a ton of different files that get thrown into the current working directory. So if we open up our file explorer and take a look at these, um, this is where LDAP domain dump comes in super handy. I usually use this in addition to tools like Bloodhound, which we'll talk about in just a quick second, um, because the information is very concise, it's easily digestible, and it's super, super handy, um, not only from a penetration testing perspective, but also just for general security auditing and taking a look at security settings within a domain. So I'll go ahead and open up domainusers.html. There's also JSON output and greppable output, but I generally just like using the HTML documents. Once we open that up, you'll see that there's limited output just because this is a test environment. In a real environment, this is a very, very, very long list, but there is some information that's extremely useful, um, like I said, contained within this output. So you can see um, the names of the different accounts, the SAM account names, group membership, primary group, some information on when the identities were created and when they last were logged on to, um, the password flags column is super cool. I've actually found a lot of really interesting um, stuff contained within this column where um, maybe a account has the don't require pre-authentication, which means it's as reproducible setting. Um, maybe there is pass WD not required, which essentially bypasses any password policy that's set in the domain. And then probably the most interesting aspect is this description field. So sometimes in environments, um, whenever a help desk um, or whoever provisions accounts creates like a service account or a temporary account, sometimes they'll actually put the password for those accounts in this description field um, as just a means of remembering it, I guess. So that is sometimes super valuable from a penetration tester's perspective because it is instant um, lateral movement, right? Instant access to another identity outside of the one you use to run this command. And uh, yeah, it's super useful. So that's LDAP domain dump. I don't have time to really go through every single bit and piece of the output, but it is super useful. I'll leave that to your own tinkering. We're gonna go ahead and move on to Bloodhound. So if you're not familiar with Bloodhound, it is a graphing tool set that takes generated graph data from Active Directory and maps it for you. So there's a awesome graphical user interface that comes with it, and it basically paints attack paths and misconfigurations for you um, using a variety of tool sets. Um, the tool itself is super deep and honestly deserves its entire own video. You could probably make a one week course on just using Bloodhound if you wanted to. So I'll just highlight the functionality um, that it provides. Um, to begin using it, you do need information to ingest into the toolset. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and set up a Python virtual environment so we can run the bloodhound.py 
Bloodhound dash Python script. So again, this is also written by Durkian. He uh, maintains this. And what this will do is basically query the domain uh, over a, a series of LDAP queries to gather information that's compatible with Bloodhound. So if we run that, you can see it connects to the domain controller that we specified. It looks for domains, it looks for computers, users, groups, and there's a whole suite of different collection options you can provide with the tool. So it can look for things like remote desktop um, access, local administrative access on hosts, um, active sessions. So maybe you want to target a host that has an active uh, domain administrator session, um, all sorts of really great um, pieces of information that you can use during your attack path enumeration phase of, of any engagement. Once that's done, it generates a series of JSON files here, and these are actually what we needed to import into the tool. So let's pause and we'll jump over to the tool and uh, walk through how that works. Okay, so this is Bloodhound. This is what the tool set looks like. I haven't outlined how to actually get this configured and running. It's pretty straightforward and there's a lot of really great documentation on it. So I will leave that to you and just provide links in the description um, if you're curious. But what we can do now that it's running is we can just go ahead and drag and drop those output files from bloodhound-python into the tool and then we'll upload it to the tools database and once that is complete we can go ahead and start querying information so the way bloodhound.py sorry just bloodhound the way bloodhound works is um it provides a set of queries um within the graphing database that you can use to analyze information. So there's a, a bunch of pre-built queries that come sh and ship with it. There's also a wide um, variety of custom queries out on the internet that you can Google and search and ingest into this list here. But let's go ahead and just take a look at some of the pre-built queries. So first and foremost, um, you can see this one at the top says find all domain admins. So if we click that, you can see that it automatically populates what's called a graph between the domain admins group and the administrator account. And this connection uh, typically has an identifier between it. So you can see that basically what this is saying is that the administrator user is a member of the domain admins group. Um, again, the functionality provided through Bloodhound is super dense, so we don't have a ton of time to go through it, nor is this really the place um, this is really just meant to give you a kind of a brief overview of some different methods. But one thing I will show you is how you can mark users as owned and then generate queries off of um, that setting. So what you can do is you can select a user that you have credential access to, so you own it, right? You can right click that identity and then mark it as owned. And what that'll do is that will actually modify specific queries to generate custom attack paths for you. So there's a couple of these that are pre-built whenever you spin up Bloodhound initially. You can see shortest path um, from owned principles. You can see shortest path to domain admins from owned principles. This will likely be null just because of the um, minimal amount of data that's in my environment. But within a real environment, this is a super great way to identify attack paths that are um, endemic to an environment, right? So things like default users possessing certain configurations that could lead to domain admin access or persistent access across a series of systems. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much a brief overview of Bloodhound. Again, this does deserve a separate video with much more detail, um, and that's definitely warranted and planned for the future. But as far as Active Directory enumeration goes, Bloodhound is the the magnum opus it is the go-to tool. I think I haven't met a penetration tester or red team operator that doesn't love it. And uh, yeah, shout out to all the Spectre Ops guys for keeping it free and just making one of the most useful tools I think I've ever used. All right, so last but not least, I did want to give a shout out to a tool set that I think is uh, severely slept on and that is get 80 users.py. So this is included within in packet. I think it's been around for quite a while at, at this point. Um, it is kind of overshadowed by things like Bloodhound and maybe LDAP domain dump and probably some other custom enumeration scripts that I'm just not aware of. But I do enjoy using this one from time to time just because it is concise and simple. Um, it does follow the standard in packet output. So if you ever have used any of the scripts from that library, you'll Notice that the syntax is similar and very consistent. Um, so we will give it a domain controller IP. 
we will give it our credentials for the Bob account. And then one flag that we do need to add is the dash all. So it'll simply request and query information for every single user uh, in the domain. And then once we run that, it will print out some very nice, concise information, very similar to LDAP domain dump with kind of columns. And you can see a user's name, the last time their password was set and their last logon. So just a nice little last tool set that might be handy just to have in your back pocket if you're in a pinch, or maybe you have limited tooling on an engagement. So that concludes a couple of different uh, various ways you could go about enumerating Active Directory. Again, you could probably teach a one week course on different ways to enumerate um, attack paths and how to exploit them for Active Directory. I know there's obviously like many courses on that, but the, uh, the purpose of this was really just to kind of give a brief overview of how penetration testers and adversaries go about gathering information um, about the, the software solution, right? Since it's such a uh, prevalent and highly targeted uh, software suite and super common, um, it is, yeah, makes a lot of news and gets a lot of attention and for good reason. So hopefully this was informative. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to hit any of us up at Risk360 and the Renegade Labs team. We, uh, we love Active Directory and we, we do love Bloodhound.